What I've got here is an example of a common rafter. It's all set out. Our pitch angle is 38 degrees, and again, this was done with a roofing square. But trying to cut this timber, I've got some choices. I could use a hand saw, but I'm going to take a long period of time. A plunge cut saw isn't really practical, especially when it comes to a bird's mouth. So my next best option is something along the lines of the sword saw. Like I said, we can use it on the guide rail and off. And for the first example, on the plum cut here, I'm going to use it on the guide rail. When it comes to using it on the bird's mouth, we'll remove the guide rail and we'll just do those freehand. So let's make the first cut. Now we can move over and we can do the plumb cut up to where um, the centre section of the roof will be. And for this one I need to swap around to the other side and I can work off the right hand side of the guide rail. If you just open up this, so rather than clamping on this time, I'm going to take the FS racket off and we're just going to guide the sword saw along the guide rail just by holding it on. Don't forget this is a guide. When you're using roofing uh, machines for roofing components, talking half a millimetre accuracy. So again, put it on, take it up to where the pencil mark is and away we go. So while we're cutting that, you have to think to yourselves how long that would take if I was using uh, any other type of machine. But with the sword saw you can work really, really quickly. So with these cuts we've lent the sword forward 10 degrees. For the next cuts we need to make sure that the cut is at 90 degrees to the timber and that's the section we'll do next. Okay, so we've done both our plumb cuts. Now we need to make sure we cut the bird's mouth nice and accurately. Our two cuts, one from this side and one from this side, need to meet up at 90 degrees. So this is probably the only cut we ever do with the sword saw at 90 degrees timber. So I'll take the lever forward, bring the saw down at 90 degrees, and for this one we're just going to introduce the saw onto the blade. I've got a pencil line here, but on top I know exactly where my kerf line is, because there's two red marks up here, so I know exactly where the kerf is going to be. So there's the first cut. My next cut is going to come from the left hand side of my pencil line. So again on here I know exactly where my kerf line will be because of the red mark at the front on the zero degree mark. So we take it on and this time I'm looking forward of where my chain is going to be and we can switch on and I know that the distance from my pencil line to the inside of the plate is at 10, is at 10 millimeters. So, out comes my bird's mouth. I've got a little piece in here that I need just to take out. So with my wall plate that would be sitting correctly. So I can now go back onto the cut and take that away. There we go. So, that's the last cut complete. And now we have our roofing component already cut. And if we put it onto its edge, Put it onto its bird's mouth and you can see the SSU 200 for roofing really is taking roofing in this country into a different dimension. It's a cracking piece of kit to use and available from ITS.